All right, so welcome back to some more Resident Evil. We're in the last episode. We heard a strange noise, and uh, Barry told us to go check it out while he kept guard of the um, elevator. So let's go see what's in here. Oh, I love that noise. Hey, girls, you looking fine. Cat fight? Really? Can't we just be friends? I mean, really. Don't know what I did to deserve that hit, but okay. It's not like I'm the one who did all the experiments on you and turn you into the monstrosity that you are today. Alright, so what we got in here? We got a crate. Okay, I need to push it over a little bit. Push it this way. I hate that Jill can't just like jump on top of this thing and ride it like that. There we go, I think. Alright, that should do it. Oh my god. So picky. There, is that good enough for you? I wish I could have jumped on there with it. it. Would have been a lot quicker, but oh well. I'll take the long way. Do we really have to listen to it? Alright, it made it. Is there nothing else back here? I would have thought there had been like a green herb, something. Alright, so let's go back in the room with the creepy, deformed Lisa Trevor. And she actually takes, she, she gives off a lot of damage. I know she's still back here, but I don't know which... Okay, she's that way. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to avoid you at all costs because, dear God, you give off so much damage. So let's go uh, see what Barry's up to. I mean, I'm sure he's, sure he's waiting for us. He wouldn't betray us, would he? What do you know? He betrayed us. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to come down here and in that big box, I know it was a massive size box. The only thing that is actually in here is a grenade launcher. That's it. Nothing else. It's just a grenade launcher. Or no, a flamethrower, I think. It's a flamethrower. That This big box, and they have one flamethrower. It's not like a kit full of flamethrowers or anything. No, it's one flamethrower so we're gonna go in here crush this thing take the broken flamethrower and there's like this little you'll see but there's like this little rack you put it on it unlocks the door push that smashed it up Let's see what we got going on It's a really powerful weapon. Oh yeah, it's a broken flamethrower. Just what I need. So now let's go back upstairs, or up the ladder. And I need to actually... I need to put up this knife in this crank. Because it's taking up unnecessary space. Because I sure don't use a knife, so put that up. Put that up, and uh, um, just to be on the extra safe side in case I do get hit, I want some extra health. Cause Lisa Trevor, she does. She's like two, three hits, and you're like already in deep caution danger. Like she's a tough one. All right, so let's go back in this fun room with this beauty queen. this okay so you're that direction of course you are I could have picked any way but <laughs> you'd be the way and I think yeah we have to pull this switch because the levers aren't already out they're timed so see yeah isn't that convenient oh god where's the door 
It's right here. Come on. All right, good. So that's locked in. And I have some space for those herbs. I'm gonna go grab those real quick. If I can get over here before Lisa does, because I can hear them chains. She's like right there. Ah, uh, get it. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, hi. See, see how creepy she looks though. I really would love to see her come back in Resident Evil 2 without all those chains on her and everything, and she's more vicious. Imagine that coming at you fast. Like, oof, the terror. They, they need to do this because it would bring another element of horror. You'd get that new, you'd get that um unique enemy. Man, this is just creepy. Okay, so is there anything else in here? The fire has died out, but it shows signs of use. You know, I kind of wish that they made um, Lisa Trevor. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Okay, here it is. I kind of wish they made Lisa Trevor sort of like a nemesis, Mr. X sort of character, where she pops up a lot, but unpredictable. Cause I could have really made her a lot more creepy. Oh crap, there's Lisa. Anything else in here? This looks like a family photo. The mother and daughter seem to be pretty close. Okay, so there's an item box. We will take that. Alright, well I'm out. And I'm pretty sure this is going to take me straight back up to the cabin area. Wait, is there anything on this side? Yeah, there's a couple things. Let me um, combine a few things here. I don't really care about the blue herb. I just need the green herb. Combine it with... Okay, I was about to say, what? I could have sworn. Alright, so let's get on out of this very odd area. Get us up to the top and then show this cut. And now we are back in the familiar. Okay, am I not. What is this? Because I'm supposed to have a ring. Okay, there it is. I was starting to wonder where that was because there was. I knew there was a ring. Family photo. There's something written on the back November 10th, 1967. For a generator virus administrator, Jessica. Administrative virus type A, plasmatizing a tissue during cell activity or act activation, virus fusion negative. Okay, so this is basically the studies on Lisa Trevor and all that. Okay, so it's been a good minute since I've saved. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I can go... get that little piece I need for that ring. Although, I don't know, do I have the other one? No! No. Don't want to save on that one. Okay, come on, let's go. Save. Save's good. Can I play? Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to put this back up. And then I will head out. There's the door. I'm trying to think where the other ring or the other. I don't know how we have it. I don't know. Hmm. I'm at a loss right now. Because I don't think I had it. I could have just checked the item box a second ago, but I didn't do that. Oh, still sick. I'm sure you'll get better. Don't worry. Hang in there. Oh man, this sucks. Because I know where this ring's supposed to go. Did I ever get anything out of that one ring with the... 
Well, you need a lion or something or whatever. I'm trying to figure out where I might have misplaced this key or this other emblem because you need two of them. And I don't think I have both. Okay, so let's climb on up in this muddy area. I need to get back up here and see what the heck is going on because I gotta figure this out. Because the one piece that I need is this one right here. You can take this out. That one has the ring on it, right? Yeah, that one already has the ring on it. So there's another one somewhere that does not have the ring. And I need it. But I can't think of where it would be unless it's in my item box and I already had it. And that might be the case. But I don't feel like I do. Alright, let me go through here and check. Because now I'm a little confused trying to figure this out. that would make my life so much easier. <sighs> I don't think it's in here. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. We have plenty of health on me, so let's put some of this back. Okay, I'm very happy that I have that. So let me go ahead and put that up. And then combine these two. Now we have both of those. And then while I'm at it, because I'm going to need these, go ahead and slap those on there. Yeah, that looks good. So let me go back. I want to go put these on the door, but I'm not going to go in the door yet. I'm going to go grab that magnum ammo. Can't forget about that magnum ammo. I gotta go in the main hall, go back in that elevator, and then I can go grab that. But no, we can't forget that. That's gonna come in. What the freak? How many of you are there in this hall? Because I could have swore I killed you once. Could have swore I killed you before. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, we're doing good. I kind of feel like a missed opportunity in a lot of Resident Evil games is to have a good jump scare in the main corridor. Nothing much really happens in here. I mean, if you try to open the front door, a zombie dog tries to get you. Oh my god, what the heck? Is this one of those I have to... There's one. There's two. So now I am going to go back over here real quick and grab that magnum ammo like I said I would through the dining room. I'll go ahead and I'll probably just, I don't know, I might skip over there and go ahead and speed that up instead of just walking over here to get Magnum ammo, so I'll probably just do that.
All right, so I got the magnum ammo that I needed, and now... Yeah, we're gonna go down there. Cause that's the smart thing to do. When you hear a creepy noise like that, the first thing I think is, I wonder what that noise is. Let's go down there and check it out. All right, good, there's a item box so I can put things in it. Put this magnum ammo I got back. Put this herb I got back. And I think uh, everything I'm carrying is pretty much good enough. Now I do need to be careful because if I get knocked off it's an instant kill and I'll have to do a few things over again. But I recently saved so it wouldn't be a lot. Cutscene time. Jill, you're alive. I was worried because I thought you were. Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me! Man. No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun! This is a really nice gun, and I like it. Ah, oh, what the heck. Thanks, Jewel. Thing's huge. Alright, well, you distract that thing while I push rocks. Dang. Well, I thought this fast enough to where you don't get killed, Barry, but I can't make promises. Hey, Jill, you mind pushing it? That'd, that'd be great. Thank you, Jesus. Keep that ugly thing away from me. Yeah, go jump down that hole. So is that her mother's skull she's holding, or what's that all about? All right, so now that she's out of the way, we can continue back to where we were, hating Barry. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. Ah, oh, Barry's got this place covered. Better just. Hurry on ahead. Well, geez. We, we sure forgave him quickly. Alright, so we're going to go up here and we're going to use these two emblems that we have. And then it's going to open up a waterfall. Oh, man. Getting so close to the end of another playthrough. It's been fun. Okay, so what are we doing here? Looks like it's a lion. Got that going in. And then we come over here. And this sequence kind of reminds me of the classic CGI cutscene. Just the way it looks. It reminds me of the statue from Resident Evil 2 when you do that. See, if you watch the original, or not the original, but if you watch Resident Evil 2, when you put that little emblem of the horse in the uh, statue, it does the same little thing. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get down here. Should 
be a typewriter. Now we are officially done with the Spencer Mansion. Okay, can't go in there yet. So we'll just go down here. Cool. Do I have room to carry that? Oh god, yeah, I got plenty of room. Alright, so let me go ahead and save here and we will end the episode right here. Covered a lot in this episode. Yes. Alright, so in the next episode we will explore this new area and this new location. Until then, I will see you all for it. So, see you then.